Hello, hello, good afternoon. This is LaQueen Battle of Battle for Savings Finder Services. Come in live here from Boston, Massachusetts at Northeastern University. I'm very happy to be here and I want to say um, happy and blessings to all my family and loved ones. Um, I do have a death in a family. My uncle, uh, Fred Gennard, just passed away in Texas, so bear with me, guys. Um, I also want to go ahead and give prayers and uh, prayers of safety and return to those who are overseas, our military forces overseas, serving in Afghanistan right now through the humanitarian crisis as well as trying to deliver American refugees and American citizens from the Taliban. So uh, pretty much I want to get into something really quickly right now. Today it is Sunday, August the 22nd, 2020. Time is 5.49 p.m. here in, in Boston, Massachusetts. On the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time um, in the United States. I want to get into something right quickly from the Word of God. I went to two churches today because I was kind of going through a little emotions. I'm going to go through a couple more videos too as well. Um, Pretty much, uh, as you know, uh, there have been a couple of influential people who have tested positive for COVID-19, and I have been researching into community involvement uh, through community health, as well as talking to you guys here on YouTube platform, and then uh, out in the community in New York, here in Boston, doing my first aid business, uh, writing, publishing Amazon bars and I was doing all of that working at Harvard having that emotional experience as well as the experience getting out to the public and telling more people about my business and getting out to the public so pretty much I wanted to focus today on something that is very important to me as well as uh, pretty much right now uh, being a young person here um, here in the um, in the, in the city so I really want to do deal with something that's very 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 important um, it's called pretty much what is I'm learning it but it's called when someone is calling you out when someone is calling you out um, I really um, have to uh, pretty much go a little bit into detail I'm learning this as I go but pretty much what it is is that over time, over the last year, since August of 2020, since last year as well, since I've been in Chicago for the last six years, from 2015 up until 2014, 2015 up until 2020, and now since I've been in the city of Boston from 2020 up until 2021, I have yet to learn how influential it is to be in the right environment, the right community environment, figure out what's going on in politics, in the community, with young people, with adult people, in the church, and, and figuring out who I am and learning how the world turns. And right now, since I've been in the city of Boston, I've actually learned and developed maturity as well as how to deal with a lot, have, I've overcome a lot of crisis in my life as well as my family has been blessed. So I'm in New York as well as in Boston, but I really want to make sure, make this clear. Just because your family has been blessed, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be blessed, okay? So I just, I, I really want to make that clear because sometimes even though the blessings may fall down, may trickle down your family line your, to your family members, still you have to keep continually, continually walking and the path that has been proposed has been predestined for you now i know i'm really trying to get all churchy with it I, I really i don't want to get all churchy with it because it doesn't matter what kind of religion you are if you are not prospering but somebody else in your family is prospering that is a problem that is an issue okay so if everybody in your family has houses and you don't have a house or you're struggling or you are homeless but everybody in your family has a house that is an issue if you are homeless if you are desperate if you are struggling alone but everybody else in your community, in your own close-knit community, is successful, is involved, is profitable, has their own families, is involved, is not struggling like you are, that is the issue. And I think, especially in the body of 
Christ, especially in the black church, people call out people all the time. They either call somebody out on social media, they call somebody out in the church when they're having a sermon, they call somebody out in the community when they have a community event, they call somebody out when they are in public, they call somebody out on the bus, they call somebody out like you're just pretty much you're having a basic conversation not really a conversation but you are trying to expose this person and their behavior or you're trying to not really insult somebody but you're trying to address an issue that needs to be fixed and you need other other people to take pay attention and also to notice that same issue or that same behavior in somebody to make it change so it doesn't necessarily have to be excuse me it doesn't necessarily have to be a dangerous situation it could just be some kind of situation or some kind of behavior that you see in somebody or in a group of people or in a population or in a community or racial network where you just want to expose that behavior expose that issue expose that problem and make a change to it for the better and usually when you call somebody out you want to make the situation better but usually what it is is not it doesn't work like that all the time the message doesn't get to people until it's too late here's an example here's an example so as you know Juneteenth 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 happened a hundred years ago okay but it didn't get into the, the 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 law was passed that slaves were emancipated okay when Abraham Lincoln signed the emancipation proclamation okay but the slaves in Texas did not get the word until okay uh, until a thousand or until a couple years later Okay, then it was too late. They were already enslaved up, okay? It was a generation that passed before the slaves in Texas got a hold of that word that they were already free, but they were already living in bondage, okay? The rest of the world was free, but the people in Texas were still in bondage. When in fact, in reality, they could have easily, easily got a hold of that word, okay? Got a hold of that freedom and fought for it. But usually when you get a word from somebody, or you get a word, it's either a, it's either a life or death situation, or you can easily, easily remedy that situation or make a change in it, change to that environment for yourself as well as for your family involved, okay? Usually people get a word from somebody, people get a message, okay? Send this person a message. By the time that person gets a message, or by the time that family gets the message, it's already too late. It's already too late. It's too late. So that is a really important issue I just wanted to address. And as you know, right now, um, COVID-19 has been has been going on for two, three years already. It's already the almost the end of the year in 2021. Okay? And right now, in states like Florida and Texas, okay, they're finally paying attention like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. COVID-19 is real. It's a real, it's a real, it's a real deal. We have to take the vaccine. We have to get vaccinated. But they didn't really want to believe it. Okay? There was a lot of other issues to address, a lot of other issues, religious issues involved. Okay? But it is real. Other people in different different cities all around the world, as well as in different cultures and different countries, already knew that the coronavirus coronavirus is here. Okay, you saw it on TV. But sometimes people, they choose to have prejudices or indifferences to a fact. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything medical involved, but, but people choose to remain prejudiced or fixed in their own beliefs. It not, it's not necessarily hate. It's just that people refuse to change, to change their beliefs, to change their way of life. They want to be settled down in, in how, they, how they choose to be. Okay, that's just how some people are. Okay, they choose to remain settled down. They choose to not change. Okay, and by then, by the time they get the word, like already right now in August of just this past Friday, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, okay, tested positive for COVID-19. And now, by then, there have been thousands and thousands of Texans, citizens, Texas citizens, I'm from Texas, okay, people that have already died due to the virus and easily easily people from all around the world as well as the president as well as the people involved 
people from different cities have tried to call out Governor Greg Abbott, as well as tried to call out uh, Rick DeSantis in Florida, as well as try to call out these other people in leadership to let them know this is a real issue. We need to address it. Please stop your hate. Stop trying to make this a religious issue. We're calling you out. You need to address this issue with your people, with your citizens, and with your constituents. It is a serious issue. You need to address it. Because if you don't address it, it will eventually come back and, okay, and affect you in some way or another. And usually what happens, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a virus. It could be a political issue, like I said, with, with slavery. It could be a, another issue, like I said, with the passage of the Civil Rights Bill. It could be another issue, per se, like um, not necessarily the, with a celebrity. Okay, a celebrity can um, can um, have... Um, a successful line, a successful business, a, they're starting a new job, they started a new a new acting job, got a new acting gig, they're, they're doing prom promotions and all of that, and then all of a sudden they get one bad feed from a press, press photographer, one bad photo in the press, and by the time that celebrity hears word of that they got a bad picture from the press, the very next day their whole career is ruined. And by then, they didn't have the chance and time to change that situation for the better. They didn't get the word until it was too late. And sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture. It could be um, uh, a statement on Twitter. Or it could be uh, some kind of social media post saying that, oh my God, I can't fix a social media post, so what do I do? What do I do? Well, by then, when they get, when they get word how that social media post impacted the people that they were involved with, most of the times when people know they're involved with and how it affects a celebrity, that celebrity finds out and then it's too late for them to fix the situation. And so by then, their career is ruined, they lose endorsements, they lose the support of the community that they were involved with, okay? Like myself, I, I also, I'm a community advocate. I do community health, I, I've been doing COVID community research. And people have been insulted me because they say, hey, I am involved with the police. Well, I am a first aid responder. I have to be involved with the police because I have to report to them as well as let them know what I do. But at the same time, I have my own personal life where I report to the police about my own personal issues as well as other issues involving the community. And sometimes people, they don't want to report to the police because they want to keep things silent. They don't want the public to know. But you have to address the issue in order for the public to be made aware of it in order for a change to be made. And usually, most of the time, if the public is not made aware of an issue, it's already too late for the, for the issue to be changed. And so usually, it's, if that community advocate knows, as well as a group of politicians know about the issue, and they don't make change for the public, then it can also be a safety hazard as well as a public safety issue and by then it can lead to other criminal behavior or it can be lead to other criminal activities that can affect the public in the long end okay so it's it's a lot of other issues involved but then when someone is that's how it is you, you have to call somebody out on your behavior for me i'm actually going back into social media all these youtube videos where i'm like is this the church that i'm having to address this issue with is this is this the, the christian church is this the black church is this is this politics that i'm having to address is this my own family issues that i'm having to address is this my work-life balance that i'm having to address who is calling me out on all these issues that I've had to deal with? Who is calling me out? What is the issue that I need to focus on the most? Who has called out my name and said, look, Queen, you need to fix the issue. We want you to work on this issue so you can come into our network. So, you, so we want you to work with us. But at the same time, though, you need to take care of your own personal issues first before we can involve you into what's going on. And by then... It's when somebody's already called you out in the situation, they don't want you to work for them. They want everybody in your social network to, to be involved in the issue. And by then, everybody in the social network is already successful and you are left out in the cold. And that's how people keep you out of the loop instead of you being involved. Because they're always in it for themselves. 
but it's different when someone's calling you out okay they want to try to make you call you out in a pos in a positive manner they want you to be involved but sometimes usually like a, a lot of this cancel culture okay you really don't find out about the issue until it's already too late and then you notice you start losing jobs, you start losing endorsements, you, you get, you're you getting sued, you're getting assaulted, you're losing your job. And by then it's like everything starts counseling and counseling and counseling and counseling and counseling and counseling. And then everybody, every single body in your network that you're involved with, they start getting affected by you. And so it also has a lot to do with council culture as well as there is a difference between council culture versus somebody calling you out and usually when somebody is calling you out okay they want to help you they don't want to counsel out everything that you're involved with when someone is calling you out they want to address this issue address the behavior for it to change and for your life to be better they're calling you out and they want you to get the, that that word right then and right there right then and right there they want you to know the word at that exact moment in time but if people, they don't want you to know what they're saying about you, then it's council culture. It's not calling you out, it's called council culture. And by then, everything in your life is already too late, it's over with it. Everybody in your network, okay, I'm not just talking about celebrities, it could even be celebrities. I'm talking about everybody that you connected to, everybody that you made an email message to, everybody that you actually had a physical interaction with, their lives start being counseled too because of not necessarily your behavior but because somebody has made an insinuation against you or somebody has tried to try is suing you or somebody is trying to involve you in what whatever they're promoting or whatever they're going against so it can be politically involved as well as any just socially involved it can be oh i don't like you for this other reason or whatever okay so it does have, and like I said before, there is a difference between cancel culture versus calling somebody out. Calling somebody out. So I know it's already 17 minutes into this video. I'm going to download this onto my YouTube platform as well as on my Facebook. This is Laquine Battle. Please email me, email me, um, uh, email me at battlefirstaidicloud.com. I'll also take donations. Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Battle First Aid Responder Services. Look at look at some of my books, okay? Um, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and Google Play. So I'm just letting you know there is a difference between calling somebody out versus cancel culture. Please know the difference. Please know the difference, okay? All right. So this is the Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Love you guys. Bye.